Hello. In this tutorial we're going to learn about path operations in Inkscape and uh, we're going to use them to create the uh, illustration you see here. Uh, so let's get started. Um, let's grab the rectangle tool and uh, create our background. And we'll use an appropriate color for our uh, sky. I'm going to use a Bezier pen tool to create our stars. Let's select all those. Add some color. And you'll notice that you can see how the uh, these paths are stroked and they overlap the shape. If we go up to the path menu, you'll find the uh, the path operations listed here. And the two that we are concerned most about are union and difference. And for the stars, we'll select union, and you can see that the shortcut is control plus. And you'll see what union does. It takes overlapping shapes and combines them into one, even though these were singular objects. Set those aside. And let's make a moon with the ellipse tool. Now I'm going to hold uh, the mouse down and tap spacebar before I move it. And the spacebar creates another copy. Let's give it a different color so that we can uh, get a nice shape to our moon. Hold the shift key to select both of your shapes. And now back up to path and difference. And it's sort of like a cookie cutter, cutting the uh, top shape out of the, the shape that's behind. So now we have our moon. Let's change the color of that one. There we go. Let's uh, use the ellipse tool again, and I want to draw from the center, uh, and you can do that by holding down the shift key. And we'll create a sort of ground here. And we're going to use another path operation called difference, or I'm sorry, division. And of course we lost our color, let's try to get that back. And there we go. Ellipse tool again. And we need to change our color so that we can see what's going on here. Mirror that. division here again. Clean that up. There we go. Nice and clean. Now let's add some characters to our scene. Again with the space bar before I drag so that I have another copy. Let's change the color. And I'm going to use the keyboard command for uh, for difference. Shift control minus
All right, now because we have multiple objects, um, the uh, di difference is not going to work. If I try, it's going to tell me select exactly two paths to perform difference, division, or path cut. So what we'll do is we'll union these, and then we can subtract it from the rest of our wing. And let's mirror that. There we go. See our bat needs some ears. Bezier pen, the B key. Let's quickly add a shape for the ears. There we go. All right. I'm going to click outside of my drawing space and draw a box around these objects so I can group them. And that's under the object menu. Now group is important if you want to use a feature called clone and I know it's not part of this tutorial but uh you can always rewind and rewatch so go to the edit menu clone create clone So now Inkscape tells me this is a clone group of four objects. And it looks like there's another one there, which is good. All right, but bats are black, right? So I'm going to double click on this group so that I can enter it double click a group to go inside and then I can control A to select all of the members of that group and we'll change the color to black and you can see the clones are merely links to this grouped object here alright so moving along we're going to put one more uh, thing in here we're going to use a rectangle tool first because we need our tower and oh no look we are still inside this group so let's cut these and we need to right click I'm sorry you can't see that if I click on any other object it will leave that that group and then I can paste those back into the document alright we want a stone tower and let's choose a different color And again, I'm going to tap the space bar and hold down the control key so that I can constrain the drag to the X and Y axis. So they're all sort of on the same level, and it's really not enough room for that one. Let's move him over. And I'm not concerned about spacing. We want to have some sort of character to this. All right, so let's union these together first and then subtract and we can union these together as well why not uh, let's make some windows and we'll turn this one into a door and let's turn on snapping here if we go over to the right we can turn on snapping there's many many features for snapping uh, do explore those because they make drawing uh, much easier uh, if you need to line things up of course snapping can also get in the way so you wanna sometimes turn it off when you're done alright so we have our door and because you know we're on the moon we're gonna make this a rocket tower All right and I'm going to 
hit Control C to copy the tower, and then Shift Control V to paste its style. So our rocket boosters are the same color. Let's make this one bigger. All right, there's our rocket tower. Select the objects, Control G to group. Let's move that bad boy into place here. And we're going to scale him down, but I want to move the rotation origin down here so that when I scale, he scales down to that point. And also the rotation is going to happen there too. All right, so we have some color issues. Let's make this one a lighter color. Or darker, that's better. All right, and you know what? These bats are in space, so they need to have helmets on. Or they're not going to be able to breathe. Poor space bats. I'm going to hold down the shift key and get a stroke on here. And I'm going to middle mouse on the fill because I don't want the fill here. That good it looks like a good good color. And let's go back to fill and let's make it a gradient radial gradient here and we'll then choose the gradient editor. I can click on these color positions. Change this one to white and reduce the alpha. And on the outside position, that's also white, and reduce the alpha, but not as much. Simulate the effect that they're, they've got their space helmets on and they're in glass. All right, so those are the basics of path operations. Um, go ahead and play, and uh, enjoy.